Hey guys, Will here from Stay Frosty Cinema, and this is Firing Range on the MSMC Submachine Gun in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. In this video, we'll go through every inch of the MSMC, ranging from its stats to a final verdict on the gun. Let's kick things off with stat time. The MSMC is unlocked at level 28. It fires fully automatic, and that can be changed to burst with select fire. It fires at 750 rounds per minute. With rapid fire, this becomes 937.5 rounds per minute. The in-game description of the MSMC is a fully automatic submachine gun, increased range, and reduced recoil. The MSMC's maximum or close range damage is 40 damage per hit. At 14 yards, it'll step down to its medium range of 33 damage per hit. At 28 yards, it'll go down to its second last range, its far or long range, of 22 damage per hit. And at 38 yards, it'll drop off to its absolute minimum damage of 18 per hit. The MSMC's headshot multiplier is 1.1 times. The MSMC's mobility is standard, like all SMGs, at 100%. The ADS move speed of the MSMC is 80%, with stock that becomes 102%. The raise time of the MSMC is 0.62 seconds, and the drop time is 0.32 seconds. The MSMC has 30 rounds in a normal clip. With extended mags, that becomes 40 rounds. The MSMC reloads normally at 2.07 seconds. Its empty reload is 2.75 seconds. The recoil, in our personal opinion, is moderate. It's manageable, and it's definitely not a big deal when it comes to close range encounters where the MSMC certainly stands out. Moving on, now time for a weapon description. It's time to get factual. The modern sub-machine carbine, or more simply MSMC, is an Indian SMG manufactured by the Ordnance Factories Board. The weapon was developed for the Indian Army. The MSMC is a lightweight and compact firearm chambered for the 5.56 by 30 mm Minsas cartridge. Moving on to attachments, what works well with the MSMC? Well, if you didn't already know, there are a few here that are just should be common sense by now if you've used the MSMC, but I have even used some of these, and I want to talk a bit more about them because there are some surprises that we found in our testing. First up, Silencer. It's definitely effective, it keeps you stealthy, but there aren't just no cons to all the pros. In our testing, we found that Silencer greatly reduced the range. Three hit kill range of the MSMC was surprisingly shortened. So, with silencer, putting a silencer on the very powerful at close range and effective at close range MSMC actually levels the playing field. It'd be probably a better choice to use silencer on something like the MP7 than it is to use on the, on the MSMC. And I know that the MSMC silencer is a very popular choice with all submachine guns. But in our tests, we found, and I'm not sure this had to do with the patch a while back, we found that Silencer does make the MSMC a lot less effective. So be wary when using Silencer, but it's still very useful and still very fun to use with Silencer. Laser. Laser Sight improves your hip accuracy and is very useful if you don't like aiming down the sights, which I certainly don't. Going around at close range with a laser with the MSMC is really, really, really fun, and it works incredibly well. Putting a laser on is almost never a bad choice, but it's, you can take it off at the same time, which is why I like it so much. I think you should use it until you get something else that maybe you want to try. Fast Meg. If you feel more nimble, and it keeps you in the action a lot more. I mean, you'll find a lot of instances where um, sometimes you have to leave maybe a firefight to go reload certain guns, especially LMGs. Fast Meg on the MSMC, as with any SMG, just makes them feel... A lot quicker overall. Um, they shoot quick and you move quick and they reload quick. What can go wrong? Stock improve mo overall mobility and it can be useful. As we said, with stock, you move faster ADS than standard move speed, not looking down your sights. Stock is 
crazy with submachine guns. And it can be very useful if the situation calls for it to be able to move faster as it is walking while you're looking down your sights. It can definitely help with medium to longer range encounters with the MSMZ as with most guns. So I definitely recommend you try or experiment loadouts with the four of those. All those attachments feel very good on the MSMC. Moving on to strong points, where does this gun shine? Well, being the MSMC, it is lethal at close range. It's not often you'll lose a face-to-face -face encounter if you have the MSMC, and it's not often you'll win one if your opponent has the MSMC. It's also versatile and useful out the ship. Don't mess around. With the right attachments, this thing is just a monster. Again, silencer, be wary. But even with silencer, you're a ghost when storming close ranges. Also, this gun is just plain freaking awesome. It's possibly overpowered, as many people like to call it, but it's just so much fun to use. You can hate on it all you want, and then when you pick it up, you might be like, okay, do not patch this. Time for the final segment of this video. The verdict. The MSMC is undoubtedly one of the most effective weapons in the entirety of Black Ops 2's multiplayer. It's also next to a fact that you will lose almost all in close encounters when up against an enemy with the MSMC, but somehow in the midst of all this gun's pros you still don't feel invincible. Sure at close range you might be pretty much unstoppable, but you'll quickly lose that feeling at longer ranged encounters, especially with silencer. For people tossing around the label of overpowered, you're describing a weapon that has more power than it statistically should. The MSMC might seem like a fair candidate for that position while you're using it, but truth be told, it really isn't. The MSMC is phenomenal on certain maps and from certain ranges, but in the whole, it's not more powerful than it should be. You'll get 3 hit kills until 14 yards, where it'll drop down to 4. At 28 yards, it'll plummet to 5. At that point, this gun becomes nearly infantile against other classes of weapons meant for longer ranges. For anyone who uses the MSMC and considers it overpowered, you're probably only judging from the close range encounters you had. For anyone who gets killed by the MSMC and considers it overpowered, get out of the close range kill zone, you idiots, or use it yourself. On our scale from 1 to 10, the MSMC is awarded a 9. Awesome. Well, thank you for watching our weapon review on the MSMC. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you agreed with us or if you just liked the video. Just throw us that. We love thumbs up. Also, leave your comments below whether you agreed or disagreed with me or just want to add on to what I said maybe. Just leave your comments below. We want to hear your thoughts. Get into fights with children. It's as simple as that. Also, make sure to favorite and share this video with your friends. If they think they know everything about Call of Duty and guns for that matter, and they certainly don't, send them here. Also, please subscribe for lots more episodes of Fire and Range coming down the pike. And until next time, do not forget to stay frosty.